once again, we will be checking out this crater part of Last on Earth Survival. So for those who don't know, this is like a multiplayer part of Last on Earth Survival. Here you can do some tournaments, you can fight with you can fight some bosses with your friends you can even join a clan but what i'll be focusing on is those tournaments because i think tournaments are the most fun part of this entire crater location for those who don't know you can go there like improve some sort of business you can buy new furniture you can improve your apartment in this game but that's not really what i'm interested about i think those tournaments are kind of fun especially if you don't really do them often i think the last time i've done a tournament was about two days ago and even before that, I think it's been like maybe half a year ago. Maybe I, it's been a really long time since I've done anything good in that tournament. So uh, that's why we'll be participating there as well. Uh, that's why I'll be participating there today as well. But before we do this, let's get back to our main world and let's do a few raids there. And then we're going to hop to the crater. Say, first of all, welcome to all those that have just joined the stream. I'm glad to see all of you here. And if you're watching this live stream after it's over, then you already know what to do. Hop to the pinned comments. There are going to be timestamps and you can find your favorite parts of the live stream a bit quicker. And we already have this rest stop event prepared. So let's hop here to the rest stop event. And then I also have a revenge raid ready. So let's go for that revenge raid. And yeah, I guess our main topic today is going to be the crater. Like, is it worth it? Do you guys play there in the crater? And I think the saddest part about the crater is that we don't really get there lots of updates. I think last time when we've gotten an update for the crater was maybe about a year ago. Like, it's seriously been a long time since we've gotten anything in that crater. I think if we were getting maybe more frequent updates, I think the crater location could actually be good and more people would play it. Like I would even play more crater if we were getting more updates because if the more updates we get in that crater, that means the better it gets. They would polish the crater. Maybe they would change the PVP section of that game because for those who do not know, Last on Earth has some PVP in that crater, but it's kind of broken, kind of bad because for to, to participate in that PVP, you need to have insane armor. You also need to have probably some clan members, even though it's not really an intended part of uh, of that Sector 7. But people just team up there, and it's kind of broken, so there's that. I wish they've updated the, the, the that part of the game, the PvP section. Alright, so we're just gonna gather all of these roaming zombies, allure them to that corner. And then let's open up some of those boxes. I wish I brought here a spread shot, because with that spread shot I'd be able to kill all of them. And yeah, crater equals broken sector seven, says Poopy. Yes, indeed. You're totally correct. Crater is like a broken sector seven. And hey, welcome to all those that have just joined the stream once again. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Uh, happy Nano Micro Mini Tiny Friday. It's Monday! Is it Monday? It is Monday, guys. It's Monday. It's so far from Friday, but I... <laughs> happy Mini Nano Friday. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. All right, so let's activate the sprinting skill. I don't think I'll have enough time to loot both of those choppers. Maybe with the sprinting skill, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we got an M16 with red tickets. Let's loot one more chopper. It's already nice. We've already gotten one weapon. And plus we can get a melee weapon there as well. Kind of decent, kind of lovely. What do we have here? Some pieces of cloth. All right, there's gotta be another dead body somewhere. Where is it? There we go, another dude. I think I looted all of them already. Yeah, I'm pretty certain I checked all of the maps, so there we go. This another uh, rest up event gets my approval because we've gotten like those three bandages, two red tickets, and an M16. That is just insane. Like seriously, rest up events are very awesome. That's why you should focus to assemble your chopper because the sooner you assemble it, the sooner you'll be able to do those rest up events. They're almost free. They're basically like an airdrop. Like an improved airdrop, except it's not really an airdrop as it's a rest up event. But yeah, let's get back to the base and let's go and let's raid this revenge raid. I'm just gonna get some hatches. I think I'll prepare a C4 and everything is going to be awesome. A uh, suspect RO, thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. Hello, hashtag poop crater. Crater is a bit poopy. Wait, let's actually make the make a poll here right now. If the today's topic is all about the crater, let's make a poll here. Do you like play in the crater? Yes, I play there. No, I don't play there. Do you play in the crater? Yes, I play there. No, I don't play there. Yeah. 
There we go. There we go. I couldn't fit all the letters there because the I couldn't fit all of them. I used to play there, not anymore. Yes, I play there. There we go. Boom, guys. We got a Paul. Participate in the poll. See ya. Once again, suspect bro. Thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. And to those that have just joined. Ada, why is it there as an option? I'm gonna vote for that. Why is it there? <laughs> why the crater is there? Hmm. To be honest, I agree. Crater is a bit weird. Like, I just... I just want to go there because we haven't really gotten any new updates and it's not the first time when I visit the crater once we stop getting single player content. Then I usually visit the crater like once every three months, once every half a year and then we forget about that thing again. So that's kind of what we're doing here right now. We'll check out that crater, we'll do a few tournaments, it's gonna be kind of fun. And then probably Sayonara Crater because what can we do in that crater? All right, so let's get some hatchets. Hello, Psych. Any any news about the calendar event? I mean, these are the calendar events that we have here. And actually, thanks for reminding about the calendar events because we can go and participate in this. Daily bonus event. My favorite event. Getting 10 planks and 8 carrot stews. I love how they added 8 carrot stews and not 10. They probably scratched their head. They're like, you know what? Giving 10 carrot stews is a bit too OP. Like, newcomers and everybody else will have too many healing items. They won't buy anything in the shop. So they've done some math. And... Uh, they calculated that probably 8 carrot stews is the best thing to give for players. So thank you for giving 8 carrot stews. I'm glad that they're not giving too much loot. For real. Because if they gave 10 carrot stews, the game would be busted. It'd be broken. It would be unplayable. But now 8 carrot stews? Perfectly balanced. Perfectly balanced. I'm really happy that they gave 8, not 10. I'm glad that they're being very cautious with those kind of things. Seriously. Uh, let's craft a few hatchets here. All of this for eight carrots stews. What do you mean all of this? You actually get them for free. Like, to be honest, you don't even have to work for those eight carrots stews. You just have to log into the game. You just have to sit through the loading screen and then you get that, those carrot stews. But, yeah. Alright, let's get that. Let's check if we have any C4s here. Probably we don't. So we'll get one from the inbox. If you want 10 carrots to pay for your daily bonus, says the A. Yes, pay to win daily bonus. The premium version of daily bonus. I can't wait for it. I can't wait for it. Guys, I'm obviously joking. For those who don't understand. Oh my god, thank want some more pay to win things. No, guys, I'm just joking. If I don't want any more pay to win things, nobody wants any more pay to win things. Like, literally nobody. Alright, so let's go to the... To the base here to the players 76 54 yo robert allen welcome to the shim welcome welcome hi Sai. can you play stranded alien dawn i think i've heard of it i can't promise but i think i've heard of it what i can't promise though is that resident evil 2 remake claire's story is coming out very soon like probably tomorrow guys tomorrow we're gonna start resident evil 2 remake the second story that i still haven't played yet I've already recorded the video. That'll be like an hour and six minute video. It took me like three hours to record there. Almost three hours, probably. I got lost in some places. But hey, guys, we'll have an awesome one hour, over one hour video. So that'll be epic. I'm excited for more Resident Evil. Plus, there will be more Grounded. So no worries about that. And we need a C4. Let's plop a C4 on the wall. And let's get in. Let's get all the loot. Let's steal all the loot. All right, we got to be careful. I don't have a lot of C4s left. We got only a few more here and that's it. All right, so let's plot one here. Show us your gaming setup. Just type Happy Psych Setup Tour and there will be Setup Tour. I think at 100,000 subscriber special, I made that video. So there is that. Claris, woohoo, says Robert Allen. Yes, indeed, I'm very excited for the Claris playthrough. I've already, as I said, I've already recorded like a quite long video. So it is coming out soon. But yeah, I'm excited to play more of it. Also, they released like some sort of an update with ray tracing, etc. If et cetera, they continue et like that, next season we will get carrots, tears of joy, tears of joy, skull, skull, skull. 
Uh, suspect Rel, thanks for the super chat. And uh, yeah. Next season we'll get carrots. You know what? Carrots actually ain't that bad. There is worse loot probably in the in the season pass than carrots. Like we do get. But where is it? Maybe not this season. I mean, look at this. We can get reinforced beanie. Like in the very beginning, they give us ghillie armor. And later on, we get reinforced jeans. Like, I don't really know how other season passes work in games, but I would assume that. The more loot you get, the more you play, the better loot you will get. But for no reason, as a 6th reward here, you can get ghillie jackets. And then here you can get these reinforced jeans. Like, it doesn't really motivate you to finish the season pass. Like, besides that uh, ATV transmission. Like, that's that's all there is. <sighs> but hey, Suspect Bro, thanks for everything. Thanks for being here. Let's get another sack of stones. Do we have more things to open up? Yeah, I don't think there is anything else behind that other door. So we're not exploding it. More healing items. All right, so from a crappy raid, it became kind of cool. What rhymes with crappy? From crappy, it became... Snappy. Oh my god, that's cringe. That is pretty cringe. All right, let's leave this base probably. Does it get Sykes approval? I have no idea. Stack of first aid kits, not that bad, but could be better. Could be probably better. Grounded is cool and new Resident Evil is appreciated, but Frostborn when, says DA. Frostborn. I've been thinking about checking out Frostborn. Like, I want to do, I want to have a game that we could live stream, that we could progress through the live streams. And I was thinking about Frostborn. I'm not going to lie, guys. But hey, hey, before we start being, oh my God, Sayak. I'm not playing it. Don't worry about it. I saw some of you started getting the, the spray for the eyes, the holy water to, to wash your eyes from the from the games that we are about to play, guys. But hey, don't worry, we're not playing Frostborn here. I thought about it. I thought extensively for about five minutes, and I'm like, there are three players playing Frostborn. I'll be the fourth player there, so why even bother? So we're not playing Frostborn. Don't worry. You can breathe. <sighs> you can exhale now, everything's fine. No worries. It's like, look at the try your luck event. It's called a different event. Yes, indeed, I checked that out as well before the live stream. We have now the daily fortune event. It's something like maybe Halloween themed event. You can get this backpack and this uh, file with rare blueprints. But again, you probably need like thousands and thousands of caps to beat this event. All right, let's drop these things here. What percentage of Frostburn? What? I don't think a lot of people play Frostburn. Like that's the that's the whole point. If there were more players playing Frostburn, then I think I'd play it. If there was more interest in it, but there isn't a lot of interest in Frostburn, so I can't really spend that much time playing a game where almost nobody plays it. But I wouldn't mind playing it to be honest. I wouldn't mind grinding it. I don't think it's that bad to be honest. I don't think Frostburn is bad. Psyche, Siberica live stream when Siberica is even better. <laughs> Siberica is even better. Uh, let's drop some electronic circuits here, except they don't fit. Wait, what? I know where they're gonna fit. They will fit here. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Deadly try your luck. Yes, indeed, the daily uh, luck event. Deadly try your luck and deadly whatever other events. All right, let's drop the red tickets and let's see what other tasks we need to do. What raiders want me to do? Video on base layout. Guys, there is no base layout here. You just build the base, whatever you want to build here. There, your base layout doesn't really matter. There we go. That's how the base looks like, but your layout doesn't matter. Just build whatever you can build and it'll work fine as long as. You'll have high level walls. All right, so we need to go to the farm location, except it's still not reset. We still have about like 30 minutes maybe to reset it. So we might probably need to skip that. But what we are not going to skip is the witch. So let's go outside. Let's see if the witch is reset or not. And then let's go to the witch's place. Where did Miss Survival go, says Parag? I'm waiting for the new update in Miss Survival. There also maybe will be more Miss Survival as well for the thing, whatever it's called. So that we could build a garage, but... Yeah. 
there will be more Miss Survival. We're not quitting Miss Survival by no means. I'm just kind of waiting for more content there, so no worries about that. Uh, the Witch is reset, and this thing is going to be set in about half an hour, so we'll probably have to skip that task, but we are going to go and deal with the Witch. And Suspect Road, thanks for another super chat. What do you think? The season still worth it. Are the seasons still worth it? I mean, if you don't participate in the seasons, there is nothing much probably to do anyways. Like, you just keep grinding Bunker Alpha. Just keep grinding Bunker Alpha, and on top of that, as a bonus, you get stuff in the season. Like, that is pretty much it. Before, we didn't even have seasons. A few years ago, there were no seasons. So I still think seasons are worth it. They're better than nothing. And the loot is still quite all right. If you want to assemble your ATV as cheaply as possible, then seasons are kind of all right because at the very end you can get an elect you can get that ATV transmission. Even though it is a paid reward, as you need to buy the full season pass, but it's still better than nothing. So yeah, seasons are still worth it in my opinion. They are still worth it. Let's get that. Let's upgrade these weapons. And let's go for the raid number dos of the day. Because we've done raid number uno just now. Alright, let's get ready. Let's drop these weapons. Let's recycle them. Leap up. Leap up. Yeah, that should be enough. That should definitely be enough. Let's pop some carrot stews. Let's get another one of those. Yo, Robert Allen, Pirate welcome. Question: Are you and you lady dressing up for Halloween? Jack O' Lantern. Uh, Jack O' Lantern. Thanks, Robert Allen, for the uh, Robert Allen for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. And I don't think there will be any cosplay for Halloween. So that's all I can say for it. Me and my lady, <laughs> as you said, I'm not really gonna force her to come here to live stream. So, yeah, I guess that makes perfect sense. She doesn't really play Last on Earth, so there's not much we can do here. And I'm not going to bother her with, uh, like, hey, come to live stream with me. Let's dress up. We've done that when I was younger. As if it was that long ago. It was a few years ago, but yeah. But yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Um, Let's go to the... To, to the infected forest. Let's deal with the witch. Let's pop her into tiny smithereens. And then let's go for the second raid. Can you play Last on Earth multiplayer on the first character? No, there is no first character in multiplayer. It's just this single player character and your other character in the in multiplayer. That's kind of it. I played tournament after you played last stream. It was good experience once in a while, says Gaga Cream. I agree. Once in a while, going to those tournaments is kind of fun. Like, it's it's a nice experience. I just wish the rewards were a bit better. The rewards were a bit more fun because it's kind of hard to profit off of those tournaments. Before, you could get, like, a melee weapon. I think, like, not only top three places, but maybe top five, maybe even, like, I don't know how many people participate. There are probably ten people. Like, top five, maybe top six players should get a melee weapon that participate. Or maybe their rewards should depend on the amount of points that they get. Because it is kind of weird that if you grind, let's say, for... Let's say you get unlucky in the tournament and somebody beats you, somebody gets the first spot. You, you won't get any loot. Oh my goodness, I just forgot what I'm doing. I needed to save that spreadsheet because I was talking about that tournament. But yeah. The tournaments could be way better. Loot is kind of bad there. The rewards are kind of terrible. The rewards could be way, way better. All right, let's wait for it. Another spreadsheet. All right, that was a decent enough spreadsheet. Except that... Uh, yeah, I've done it twice. Okay, let's heal up here. It's kind of sketchy to run through that grass. Because she can attack me and I can die from that grass right away. If she does that attack with the, with both of her hands. So yeah, and speaking again about that crater, the rewards there in the tournament aren't that great. Because even if you get the first spot, you don't get anything useful there. Like, it's kind of pointless.
so there's that. And participating in the crater is kind of tough because you need to have healing items. You need to have a decent enough melee weapon. So there's that. All right, so she's gonna yell again. Let's get ready. With one diseased wolf, oh, there's gotta be a second one coming out soon. And I'm ready for the spread shot. Absolutely ready. There we go. Let's get that 10 out of 10 spread shot. 10 out of 10 spread shot. Oh, that's a 10 out of 10 spread shot. Perfect spread shot. Perfect. All of them, all of them died. I've even gotten lucky and I killed that diseased wolf with one shot, even though he has 100 health and you do only 80 damage with your shotgun. So I've gotten a crit shot on that guy. That was a 10 out of 10 spread shot. Easy. Easy. All right, a few more shots, and we are done with the witch. There you go, the witch is destroyed. The witch is chilling. All right, let's get the loot. Let's get back to the base. 10 out of 10, perfect. Yes, that was the perfect spread shot there. We don't always get perfect spread shots, but this was a perfect spread shot. All right, let's get back home. And let's see what other tasks we have to do. If I'm not mistaken, we need to... We need to, we need to, whatever the thing is called, I forgot. We need to craft five hatchets. My brother, you're back to loving the crater, says Sanjay. Nobody's back to loving the crater. It's just a topic. It's just the thing about the crater. I still don't think crater is bad. I don't think crater is great. That's what I'm trying to say here. I still think crater is pretty bad. It's just kind of fun to go there once in a while to experience the tournament. To participate in that tournament like once in a while. And that's pretty much it. That's all there is about the the tournament and about the crater. <sighs> mm, the hatchets. Yes, indeed. We got to craft five hatchets now. So let's get some nails. Because I'm pretty certain we need that. Do we need duct tape for the hatchets? I'm sure we need that. Let's get duct tape. Are we doing something exciting rather than the crater? Yes, we are assembling helicopter today. The helicopter came out, so I'll be assembling the helicopter. Oh my god, psych, really? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. And then on that helicopter, we'll fly to Bunker Charlie. And inside of the Bunker Charlie, we will deal with the mutated specimen. And uh, we will get the Zulu card. Not the current Zulu card that we have. We'll get the Zulu card plus. And with that Zulu card plus, we will go to the Bunker Zulu. But to go to Bunker Zulu, we will require to assemble our... Whatever the thing is called. Uh, the submarine. So instead of that Bunker Charlie, we will also get the submarine parts. And then we'll go to Bunker Zulu. Oh my god, Cyric! I know, right? That's insane. Let's get some wood. And let's craft five normal hatches, and I think we are ready to go for the right number one. Dude, maybe I have some normal hatchets here. I don't even need to craft more. Nope, I don't. Yeah, so we'll deal with the mutated specimen in the Bunker Charlie. We'll get the Zulu Plus card. They'll help us get to Bunker Zulu, but for that we we'll need to finish our submarine. There is that. Boom. There we go, guys. Let's go for the second raid now. And we even have enough hatchets. I just don't have enough guns, so let's take two Glocks. And at Bunker Zulu, we'll get parts for the trolley inside of the laboratory. 
then we'll be able to get those microchips and we will assemble the trolley and that trolley will lead us to an absolutely new world where we can get uh, tungsten so we'll have to assemble a new base And in that world, we can kind of get new rating systems, blah, blah, blah. And then you need to bring that tungsten back to your main base to upgrade your base to even level to level six walls. So that's our plan for today. When there will be a new grounded episode? Soon enough. Tomorrow we are starting Resident Evil 2 Remake. The, 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 the Claire's story. And then there will be grounded video. So tomorrow, grounded after tomorrow, uh, a live stream and after after tomorrow there is grounded. Yeah, tomorrow Resident Evil. After tomorrow, ground uh, live stream and after after tomorrow grounded. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, let's write a base named Jed. What an epic name. What an epic base name. Elder E. Ray Jed. Um, is this base any good? I feel like it is amazing. All right, so let's get ready for it. So this raid kind of requires two C4s, but I don't really know if loot is going to be worth it, two C4s. We can get nine chests if we enter from this side, so maybe that's what we should do. I don't know. Let's use one C4. Let's plop it here on this door. I think it's... I'm placing it in the right spot. There we go. We're going to get a decent amount of chests. So let's try to open that stuff up. And let's see how much scrap metal we're going to get. And how much rope I'll bring back to the base. Wait, where is my chopper? Didn't I bring a chopper with me? There should be a chopper. There we go. There's one. All right, so let's start opening up those chests and then we'll drop some stuff in that chopper. And then we'll bring the loot back to the base. The first chest is empty! Disgusting. I feel like we'll need to use another C4 in this raid. Didn't mean to get the wood. Excuse me, we've gotten 15 berries and some mushrooms. Thank you, but not really... So excited about it. Not too excited about the shrooms. Let's open up the fifth chest. But before we do this, let's deal with another wave of zombies. Cage Khan, thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the shim cage. Welcome, welcome. We got a few hatchets. Let's get them. Let's bring them back to the base. Again, that's not insane loot. The hatchets aren't great. <sighs> but at least something. At least we're not coming back home empty-handed. That's epic. I totally did not expect this. I thought this base is going to be trash. I thought this is going to be another trash raid. But there we go. We've gotten some guns. I totally did not expect that. I thought that this is going to be another empty chest with some rope and scrap metal. But hey, we got a... Okay, I'm out of guns. Again, obviously it's not a 10 out of 10 raid by no means. But, I mean, it easily gets Sykes approval. Like an easy 4 out of 10. Easy 4 out of 10, maybe even a 5 out of 10. I don't know, 4.5 perhaps? Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. I play last on Earth why I don't have any player bases. Uh, because you're not level 150. You need to be level 150, 150, and then you can raid. 
And then you'll be able to get them on the radio. So this base gets axe approval. I'd give it probably a 4 out of 10. It's not bad. It has a decent amount of guns. Again, somebody might be, might be like, oh my god, Sorry, why not? 10 out of 10. Because it didn't have enough weapons for it to be 10 out of 10. But 4 out of 10 is kind of decent. Like, it's, it's an okay amount of guns. It's an okay amount of weapons. Do you think Last Day on Earth will start ramping up the amount of updates when they are finished with the PC extension? Says Lolly Lawler. I don't think. To be honest, if I had to say what's happening with Last Day on Earth right now, I think we've reached the, the end of the game. Like, not much more content is probably coming to the game. Hopefully I'm wrong. Like, hopefully more developers have planned more content, but I don't think more content... Is what we're gonna get. We got the calendar events. This game now requires little maintenance. We just get like monthly calendar events and that's it. Like the game's self-updating basically. It's a self-sustaining game. And I don't have space to store all of these hatches. But again, hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully we'll still get a lot of new content. Right? Like, hopefully every at least month, we'll start getting something huge, something big. I'll be happy about it. But if I'm being honest, I doubt that that's the case. Because this game has been out now for five years. And every year, we kept thinking that, hey, maybe now it's the big moment, now it's the big moment. But we've gotten the ATB, we've gotten the laboratory, we've gotten some other updates. There isn't many more things developers can probably add. Obviously, there are some more things that they can add if they wanted to. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I hope I'm wrong and hopefully we'll get a bunch of new updates. What I do know is that I'm waiting for that big update the developer's been talking about. That should come out in the fall. With the with the normal settlement and whatnot. We've gotten the minivan, which was kind of fun, but it doesn't really do anything so far. So that new update should should bring something. Alright, let's drop that stuff. Let's share it and let's call them on the radio. Where are the raiders? Wait, I want to call them. There we go. There are the raiders. That's not good for the game. I barely play the monthly events as they get boring. Just keep waiting for the next story update, says DA. Uh, yeah, I agree. Maybe that's not good for the game, but maybe that's good for their business. What do I know? Maybe it's more expensive to develop a new update rather than just release another calendar event. I don't know. What do I know? I know nothing. Mm, all right, five turrets, and you know when we can, where we can get those turrets. We can go to the fourth floor. That's where we will get those turrets. As I said, hopefully I'm wrong, and hopefully we'll get a lot of content. All right, but we kept saying that for five years now. Tomorrow, new grounded video says Vine. No, tomorrow is Resident Evil 2 remake video, and after after tomorrow there's grounded. Let's get perhaps a few broken spread shots. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's take those precious. Let's break them fully on that fourth floor. Oh my god! Let's get this here. Darren Devlin! Oh my god! Hey, where is that? Darren Devlin, thanks for being a member for 13 months. Thanks, mate, for everything. Thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for everything, mate. Hopefully you're having a great day. The mini micro nano Friday. I know it's Monday, but hey, we're getting there. <laughs> Friday's coming. Um, Another armor. Okay, we'll get it, but before we get that... We'll probably get that armor from the red crate. I need to get a C4. So we might as well just get it. Right, and let's open up a yellow crate as well with the green one, whatever. 
Let's go. The crate opening and bunker alpha. Let's go. I'll always watch Happy Psych play, though, for the Mims and Giggles test DA. Thanks, mate. Thanks, thanks. And again, I'm not going to pretend that I know what's going on with Last and Earth and what developers have in store for us. I don't know anything. It's just from how I assume and from what I think. It's just at, at some point, they will reach the point where it's not going to be worth it for them to keep updating the game with new updates. With, let's say, high-quality updates. But, like, we've never gotten any high-quality updates. Well, don't say that. I think we have gotten some decent high-quality updates in the past. I don't know. What do I know? I know nothing. I just want my helicopter. And plus, they've released those acts. So who knows, maybe we'll get more acts, but... With the speed that they're coming out... Uh, when Act 1 came out... We, we're still not done with Act 2. Guys, we're still not done with Act 2. When did Act 1 come out? Wait, I'll quickly go on YouTube here, and I need the password for Last on Earth, for the bunker. Uh, Elder Isirek Act 1. Where did Act 1 come out? I have no idea. It looks like July 14th. Oh, wow. So that's already been a few months ago. July 14th. So that's entire July, entire August, and entire September, right? So that is three months ago. Three months ago, we've gotten Act 1. So let's let's round it up. Two months for one act. And even then I'm not certain. Alright, 85890. 85890. So I have no idea guys when we'll finish the entire act because hey, they released those acts, but it's not like they're gonna come out fully. I didn't bring any food with me, that is sad. That is said. I have another theory why developers are not releasing perhaps more content on some certain updates. But again, I don't know much about game development. But maybe they release a new update and they check if new players are going to come back to the game or maybe old players are going to return back to the game. They see that, that old players didn't come back for that update and maybe it's not worth it to continue uh, putting it out fully. Like, let's say we've gotten that laboratory, right? And they teased us that... Uh, whatever the thing is called, the submarine. Then they teased that trolley. They saw that people didn't really play in that... Laboratory, nobody came back to the game. They're like, eh, what's the point to release it fully? Maybe that's what was the case. Maybe that's the case, I don't know. Because we do have a lot of things in the game that haven't come out yet. And I don't know why is that... Uh, Alright, so let's open up the red crate. We'll start from the red crate and we'll go all the way to the to the green crate. Alright, so inside of the green, just as always, we're gonna get a Glock and some leather armor. Here we're gonna get a tactical armor and two weapons, one of them being Uzi. And there you go, give me a C4. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I wanted. Plus we can get now here a new armor. Also, that skedaddle. big brain of yours should know everything the devs think, and if not, spy on them with your smart donut. With your smart donut. Thanks, Darren Devlin. Thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. Once again, thanks for everything. And I have no idea what developers are doing and what's their plan. So there is that. That's all I can say. I can just hope for the best. <laughs> just as all of us, we can just hope for the best. But if they are releasing, if they're thinking pro- Oh my goodness, I forgot to get the doggo. But if they're thinking about bringing Last on Earth to PC, that means they, they're still serious about Last on Earth. 
I guess. I have no idea how expensive it is to port this game from from mobile to PC. So that you don't play it on an emulator. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, developers kind of teased that last day on Earth is coming to a bigger screen. And I'm interpreting it as it's coming to a PC. So why would they do that if they're not planning to release more updates? I don't know. I think we are getting more updates. Except, again, that means they'll have to support this game on PC as well. Like, now they have to develop the Android version, then they have to develop an iOS version, and plus, on top of that, they'll have to now develop a PC version as well. Every time there's a new update, they'll have to work on these three versions. So that is more work. Let's get the shoddy. Maybe in the future they'll add VR version for PS5. Of course, guys. Of course, we'll get a VR version. Of course. All right, the thing is good. What on earth was that? Did you see it? It just kept shooting me nonstop. Did not sign up for that. Alright, we just shredded one of these turrets. I don't even know if we had to do it or not. But I want to deal with five turrets. So there we go. That's the second turret. And let's deal with other turrets down there. Again, obviously it's not efficient. I wouldn't suggest you wasting your guns on these turrets. Don't do this. Just run past those turrets and that's it. But I am doing it for the Raiders' tasks. Hopefully they have big things in the pipeline, but are working on framework before hitting updates hard, says the A. Hopefully, but again, we've been saying that for five years. You know that hey, hopefully they have more things in store for us. Hopefully more things are coming out. Hopefully it's like a foundation or something for some more things and we just keep getting more and more foundation every year. But hey, hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully we'll get lots of update. In any case, like we are getting something big in... in autumn during this fall, as they said. So at least we know that. All right, let's deal with the toxic spitters. If you want to see Last Day on Earth in VR, so I did the video on it. Yes, indeed, we have played Last Day on Earth in VR. Again, it wasn't first person. It was just me playing the game through VR headset, and that's it. So you would just see a flat screen, and you would play the game through VR headset. But yeah, I've done actually two videos on it. I've done one video with less shaky footage, but maybe some people didn't understand what's going on. So then I added another... I made another video with more shaky footage so the people would know what's going on. Also, what happened with Amazon Prime that used to give some good loots as Darren Devlin? I don't know much about it either. I don't want to say anything stupid. But maybe something happened with Prime. There are some issues. They can't work together. I don't know. All right, let's pop that other turret. So this is probably the fifth turret now. No! My gun broke. I was about to fist punch that turret. There we go, we dealt with it. Dealt with it. 
something big is coming and you scan. I mean, a skin is permanent content, isn't it? I mean, they said that big something big is coming. Where is it? Where is that thing, guys? Look at it. The 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 underlined thing. That we have, we will continue to develop in the upcoming updates, the most major of which is planned for the fall. It will have significantly more permanent content and the new base will play a key role there. That's it. So we should be getting more content there. But at the same time, who knows when it's going to come out, like during, uh, during this fall, but will it actually come out during the fall? Maybe. Maybe. We still have about a month and a half. You have put guns in the turret. Wait, have I? I'll go check it out. I'll go remove those weapons then. Didn't mean to drop anything in the turret. You left your stuff. Oops, oops, oops. I accidentally clicked the button then to put all... We'll get a helicopter, says except Exception Thinker. You are indeed an exceptional thinker. But I don't think we're getting a helicopter. They said we'll get a major update. A major update which is planned for the fall. Like, I'm hoping that that'll be something huge, but probably it'll be another step towards something bigger. Like, I think that's what it'll be. The biggest update that we have ever gotten was the ATV update. Where we've gotten the fishing... We've got an ATV, the swamp location, Bunker, Bravo. We've gotten so many things at the same time. And we've never gotten anything like that before. Maybe this update will be something huge. Because they never really release everything at the same time. They usually release little by little, like... They didn't release, let's say, Bunker, Bravo, second floor. Then they added, like, third floor or something. Then the fourth floor. Then they released ATV. Then you need to assemble that ATV, and then they release Swamp Location, and then they release the fishing. You know, they've dumped everything into one update, which was pretty cool. So maybe we'll get another big update like that. Maybe. Maybe. Let's go back to the first floor. Yeah, we are done with the fourth floor. So yeah, let's go back to the first floor. I think devs should keep the influencers like you in the loop of their plans, says Sanjay. Uh, I mean, they just should release a roadmap and that's it. Everybody would know what they're working on. Like a lot of games do that. A lot of games release roadmaps so that people would get excited. But we don't have any roadmaps for last day on Earth. That's why I'm saying that... I don't know if, if they have any other big plans. Before we had roadmaps in Last Day on Earth, but... Not everything really came out according to those roadmaps. I don't know. Okay, let's get that. Let's get some more space for the caps. And we got another armor that I will probably equip. We need to bring some more gasoline, except how do I make space for it? Whatever, let's get back to the to the top. Let's drop the the tickets. And then I can get more items. They always skipped ATV update from the roadmap. Yes, they never really you know, like their roadmaps were kinda cool, but I don't know. They have never really, like, specified some big things, like ATVs coming out, you know? They never mentioned it. And then it just came out. And most of the things from their roadmap came out, like, they said that there will be, like, boss fights or something. Like, a multiplayer part of the game. They've added that stuff. It might not be great that they've kept their word. They've added it. Maybe they even said that there will be some sort of PvP and they've added that as well. Um, There we go. There's that. And uh, we got more fuel. 
that's it. Now I think we can just go back to the base. We've gotten, like, main things. If we ever come back here to Bunker Alpha, I'll take the rest of the stuff. If we come back here today, I mean. That's it. There's nothing else we can bring, so let's get back to the base and let's go for the third raid of the day. And I think after that, we might go to the Sector 7. Or maybe we'll do even more raids, I don't know. We'll wait, we'll see. Oh, and we've progressed a bit further to the Season Pass. Level 46. All right. It's like, do you think developers will ever add 5th and 6th floor to Bunker Alpha? I don't know, maybe. I have no idea. Why not? I doubt it, though. I doubt it because there are other things that they could probably add that would be... More interesting than 5th and 6th floor of Bunker Alpha. Like, we still don't have that uh, oil rig that they've teased, but they've never released it. We also don't have Bunker Charlie that's been always on the map, but they've never released it. We still don't have the helicopter. So, yeah, I don't think we're getting the 5th and the 6th floor yet before those things come out. And I guess that makes sense. Because I think Bunker Alpha is as good as... is good as it is. Like, I really don't know how would I improve Bunker Alpha. It's... it's... it's decent. There's some knowledge involved in that Bunker Alpha. Like, if you know how to clear Bunker Alpha, you can actually profit in the game and... You can get kind of rich in the game with Bunker Alpha. So yeah, I, I wouldn't touch Bunker Alpha. Bunker Alpha is alright. Um, we got six gasoline and a C4. I'll probably keep that C4 for a raid. I'll drop the gasoline here, however, and let's talk to the raiders. Let's see what other tasks we need to do. This done. Three green. I don't think I got any green now. This done. And uh, five hatchets. So yeah, speaking of those green cards, we need to clear 99 waves again. And I won't open up like two or three purple. I think I'll open up only one purple. Just so that we can save more green cards for uh, raider tasks. Here we go. Let's get some hatchets. A little bit of nails. And some planks with iron. Why don't we get more health or more energy bar updates, says Ra uh, Ramen. I have no idea. Why not? I have no idea. I'm the wrong person to ask that. Let's drop that here. Let's drop the duct tape. Let's get a few hatchets. And let's go for our raid, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do it. Our raid number three. There might be even the fourth raid before we go... Uh, ...to that sector seven. Maybe. One, two, three, four... Five. My favorite event is coming soon. Bunker Bravo event, says Amari. Uh, when is Bunker Bravo event actually coming? Because Bunker Bravo event is actually one of the better events in the game as well, I agree. So tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow we're gonna get that Bunker Bravo event. Now we only get points towards the season pass, which is still something. But that Bunker Bravo event makes it easier to clear it. So if you've never cleared Bunker Alpha, you should definitely clear it during that Bunker Bravo event. Especially if you're working towards your ATV. Because there you'll get... Uh, 
car batteries. Yes, indeed, those are car batteries. Uh, you can get some gas cylinders. I also thought like long ago, you cannot get ATV transmissions from Bunker Bravo, but I've heard really rumors. I've re I've heard some solid rumors that you can get ATV transmissions from there, but you cannot actually get them there. But I had some really reliable source saying that you can get them there. But I've never seen them. But I've heard that when the update was released. So that's it. Um, nothing, nothing, nothing. There we go. We have the C4, we have the loot, the hatchets, and the guns. Now let's hop in our pumpkin. On our Halloween pumpkin, and let's go. Do you think the game is a bit confusing for new players? I think everything's confusing for new players. Like, every new game is confusing to new players. And I think that's part of the charm about the game. I think the game has to hit a nice balance being confusing and not too confusing. Because if the game is too confusing, it becomes too confusing. But if the game is just confusing enough, then it's interesting. That's what I like the most probably about games, about any game that I start playing. It's always nice not knowing what you're doing. It's not all about being the most efficient. It's not... It's fun to not know what is that. It's fun to figure things out on your own. So, yeah. I, I don't think Last Day on Earth is very confusing. I think it's... It's confusing enough, but not too confusing. LDE Raid Player 8419. And once this game gets too confusing, there is Happy Sayak on YouTube. To help you out with the things. Wow! Oh my god, Sire, tell me. Please tell me what is this base? Your mind will be blown. I'm telling you. Obliterated. It'll be obliterated. There we go. Let's go for this right, ladies and gentlemen. What emulator do you personally use? I use Mimo Player, but I don't know if I would suggest it for everybody, though. Because I do know that Mimo Player doesn't really probably work well on weaker computers. And it's not perfect, but I do use it because it runs the runs a bit better than runs a bit better than other emulators for me. And plus, I already have everything here. I don't really bother about anything else. Like it's it's working for me. I've been using it for a while, so there's that. Uh, let's try to explode this door over here, probably. There we'll get more chests. But yeah, I've heard a lot of people liking LD Player. A lot of you guys left the comments saying that it runs better than other emulators for you. Especially maybe if you have a weaker laptop or something. LD Player, I think, is great for that. And yeah, there's the link in the description, the affiliate link for the LD player. All right, nothing here. I'm going to open up one more chest just to see if we got anything here. Uh, red tickets. Duct tape. 12 out of 10 base. I mean, look at the chest that we have here. It's gonna be obviously a nice raid. I mean, we've gotten carrots. What else do we want? This is already a sick raid. All those chests are empty, maybe. We'll see. I don't know if there's anything in this room. I assume there's nothing here. So I won't be opening it up. I'm not gonna be popping those chests open. But I will open these chests up, though. There we go. Let's open this one. Uh, some iron plates. Lovely, lovely. Let's get this. Gasoline. Electronic circuits. The gold bar. Everyone wants the gold bar, right? Nobody kind of wants the gold bars. Gold bars are kind of bad. As since day one, people were suggesting that you could smell those gold bars into gold coins. But we've never gotten that update. A 
almost died there. I had 12 health. And for a second, my brain lagged. I'm like, wait, I'm going to die. What do I do? A katana. Let's open up one more chest. Uh, some stones with a pickaxe that I can't even take. And we could also unlock this entire base up here, but it looks like it's not going to have any loot. I've done, as I said, a little bit of research, and I saw that there is nothing there. So we will open up this thing. I might drop some stuff in the chopper, and then I will soften up another box, and I'll open all of them up. So, so far, does this base get Sykes approved? Probably it will. We've gotten a decent amount of healing items. And you know what? It's not terrible. It'll probably be 2 out of 10 unless we'll get some nice loot inside of these few chests. There we go. Let's soften it up. You offended all 200 gold bars in the base. I'm not saying that gold bars are bad. I'm just saying what are we going to do with those gold bars? They're bad. I am actually saying that gold bars are bad. Because there's nothing to do with them. Basically trash. There we go. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, this base gets axe approval, but... It just barely gets it. Like, I'd say just hanging by the pinky. Like, here we go, like this. If this is a wall, that'll be the right here. It's just barely hanging there. So, 2 out of 10. That's what I'd give this base. And you gotta get 2 out of 10 to get Sykes approval. So, this base barely gets Sykes approval. Take the hatchets. I would take them, but we don't have space in the base to store those hatchets. So, there is that. Imagine recycling gold bars and getting copper for it. Like, the what? But sire, gold is made out of copper. What? You did not just say that. Let us recycle gold for copper. There we go. Those are the kind of updates you can expect if I ever become the CEO of Last Day on Earth Survival. Hatchets, hatchets, hatchets. Um, duct tape. Welcome to Chemistry 101 with a happy sack. Yes, indeed. Gold is made out of copper. And if you didn't know that, then I feel sorry for you. Everybody knows this. You learned that like in the first grade. Okay, let's delete this. Let's get rid of the red tickets. And let's probably go for the fourth raid, which is kind of insane. But let's go for it. Let's pay them with another stick. With another spear. I already said that many times, but again, once you upgrade your spears and you preset those mods, you will be crafting those spears with the... Uh, with mods. Where's wood? There we go. Let's get a little bit of wood. So check this out. I'm going to craft now a spear. And look at this. This spear is going to craft itself fully modded. It already has the mods on it. Because I've preset those mods. So there we go. Let's call these raiders on the radio. Bam. And let's see what kind of task we'll have to do. The schmuck just ran away. And wait. Let's go outside and let's see if the farm is reset. Because I'd actually like to go and clear the farm right now. I never understood the crater, says Justin Holder. You're not the only one. Nobody understands the crater. Like, I don't get it. I don't know what's up with the crater. I don't know what's the point of it. And I've been playing this game for five years, basically, since the beginning. And I don't know what's the crater about. It's just there.
That's biologically impossible. What do you mean to get copper out of gold is impossible? How is it impossible if you take a gold bar, you put it in the recycler and it spits you out a copper bar? How is that biologically impossible? Hmm? Think about it. Think before you speak. We need to recycle three guns. Five, seven, jump zombies at the farm. Let's go. We just spoke of the farm and we got to go to the farm, baby. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do those tasks. One raid and then we will go to the crater. We will explore the crater. Hi, Psych. What is this new event? Deadly Fortune, says Kate. It's not a new event as it hasn't come out yet. It's going to come out on 22nd of October, if I'm not mistaken. So then I'll be able to give you my opinion on it because as of right now, it hasn't come out yet and I don't know anything about it, but you'll just have to spin caps there. If I had to guess, you'll probably have to spin again a few thousand caps to get uh, scrap metal and uh, raw leather, raw hides, maybe some wood, maybe carrots even. So hopefully that answers your question. The guy's like, oh boy, I'm excited. We all are. Let's get these broken shotties. Let's leave that AK. Is there anything else that I could bring with us? Um, something interesting. Something like an M16. There we go. Wait, that's way too many guns. How many guns am I bringing for that farm location? I just realized where I'm going. And I started taking, let's take this gun. Let's take this weapon. Some of those ones. A gold does actually contain small amounts of copper and other precious metal that is removed in the refining process, says the A. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not a smith. Smithy? Yeah, I'm not a smithy, so I don't know. Smither. Smithy or smither? Who am I? You're an idiot, psych! That's what you are! No, but for real, guys, is it smithy or smither? I'll just Google it. It's obviously not smither, it's probably a... Either a smith... Probably smith. Blacksmith, yes. A blacksmith. <laughs> I am... I am actually an idiot. How did I forget the blacksmith? Hmm? It's totally blacksmith. It's just blacksmith. Will Smith says... Okay. Just had to make sure that I don't get slapped there. But everything's fine. No one's here with us. Only me and you guys. Let's drop this here. The iron plates. Let's drop them here. A goldsmith. <laughs> yeah, the LV goldsmith. Getting copper out of gold. Well, after 84 years, we finally sorted out that inventory. Took us a while to get here, but we did it. You're right, no updates is part of what's broken in Sector 7, says Spitfire. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Alright, let's get back to the Crooked Creek Farm. And uh, can you get copper from gold? There we go. How to separate gold from copper fillings. Is there any copper in gold? Keratage is the measurement of purity of gold alloyed with other metals. 24 karat is pure gold. Blah, blah, blah. The 18 karat gold contains 75% gold and 25% of other metals. Often copper or silver. So that's it, guys. Who knows if gold is... Uh, what kind of carriage is the gold in this game? Maybe it is 18 karat gold and maybe you can get some copper. Hmm? Maybe that, that's how it works. 
Maybe my idea isn't that stupid after all, getting copper from gold. Developers, give me copper from gold. Give me, give me, give me. Give me, give me, give me, give me. All right, let's deal with another savage giant. I'll probably get a broken shotgun here as well. Will you play Dying Light 2, but with PKS with Peacekeepers? I don't think so. Maybe, like, if some sort of a big update comes out. I don't know. Currently, I'm waiting for the DLC, but I do know that they've delayed the DLC a few times. It was supposed to come out a while ago, but I've just recently learned that they've delayed it again. So, I don't know when it's coming out. What I do know is that recently, that soon enough, we should get Witcher 3. Uh, it's not going to be remastered, but it's going to be the enhanced edition or whatever. We'll get ray tracing and other stuff, so I'm excited to check that out. I might make a video on it. Because I have Witcher. So I might as well just check it out. I already bought it a few years ago. So I might as well make a video on it once they release it again. For those who don't know, I loved Witcher. I've played through the entire Witcher. I've played through both of the Witcher DLCs. One of the best DLCs in... In gaming that I've seen. Like, those D DLCs were worth every penny. So much content. Insane amount of content for a DLC. Like, those DLCs felt like separate games. Like, that was insane. Beautiful world, uh, beautiful worlds and everything. So, yeah, I'm excited for the... For the next-gen version, that's what it's gonna be. Even though Witcher 3 already looks like kind of next-gen, even though it came out, like, what, seven years ago? Probably came out in 2015, maybe. It's already quite old, but it still looks better than most of the games coming out right now. When are you gonna play Rust again? I have no idea. I can't promise anything. Perhaps... So... Perhaps. What did you think of the fall of Cyberpunk 2077? I don't know much about the fall of Cyberpunk 2077, but I didn't really enjoy that game that much. I don't think it's a bad game. I think it's a game-like game, but it doesn't... Tickle my pickle. Oh no, I didn't mean to get the Revenger. Cyberpunk is not what I expect from an RPG game. Like, that's all there is to it. That's all I can say about it. But I don't think it's a bad game. No crater, please, says Davil. Don't tell me what to do, boomer. We are going today to the crater. We are going there. Alright, we'll deal with Revenger. Gotta correct that before anybody says it. Psych, it's Ravager! Sick and tired of hearing him being called Ravager. I vomit on the crater, says Exception Thinker. Um, well, I'm not gonna lie and say that I, uh, Sector 7 is my favorite place. I don't think Sector 7 is my favorite location. I'm not gonna say that it's my favorite location either, but... Going there once a year, once half a year, once every three months, it is okay. That's what I can say about it. Have you played Skyrim? Yes, I've played Skyrim. I've never been, beaten it, but I have played it. I think it's pretty cool. But I have spent lots of hours in Skyrim just messing around. That's what Skyrim is all about. I've never finished the main story there, but I have messed around for... I think I have there over 100 hours. Probably. Alright, let's open this up. And I still need to find the blue box. We still haven't found it yet. Ha! 
How can I rich in this game? Please tell me. You need to check out my free-to-play playlist. Link is down in the description. There I explain how to get rich in the game. But in short, clear bunker alpha. And how to clear that bunker alpha, check out the free-to-play playlist because there is lots of things to know. There are lots of things that you should know. Uh, let's get some jerky. And let's open up the blue box, ladies and gentlemen. Let's saw it open. So before we do this, we need to find it first. Alright, let's deal with this rotten yokel. Let's get the blue box. The grind is like Frostborn, but more cheesier. The grind where in Last Day on Earth, probably. I mean, both of those games are developed by the same company, so. Yeah. All right, so we have spread shots. We have the gun. We can open this box. The update is taking so long to come out. Yes, indeed, guys. The update the developer teased us that they spoke about is taking really a long time to come out. But one day we'll get it. One day. We just have to have some hope. Don't forget to run in a circle before opening the box for good luck. Yes. I'll even run in a circle here. Run in circle! There we go. Your character, if it doesn't work, you need to try again and yell at your character, then it'll work. Or let's blast these shotguns. Do you remember Nemo Base? Nope. I think I've raided it, but I don't remember it. What is the main aim for this game after we get everything? I have no idea. Do I look like a Goro? I don't know. What do you do here? Then it's done. You're complete with the game. After you get everything, then you're complete with the game. You can uninstall it. I guess. I don't know. Let's go around in a circle. Let's get those savage giants. So the reason why I shot all those frenzy giants instead of uh, savage giants, instead of just looping them around and opening up the box while they're chasing me is because I just want to progress inside of this season pass and that's it. That's the only reason. Is it worth it? I don't think so. But hey, I'm doing it. I wouldn't suggest you blasting your weapons on those savage giants. That's what I can say here. Because every time I'll do something, people are like, Oh, sorry, that's inefficient. Yes, that is inefficient. And I'm not saying to do that. If you want to learn uh, more tips and tricks about last day on Earth, check out the free-to-play playlist. That's where I share things that you have to do. Here, this live stream is not a tutorial. It's not a get-rich-easy scheme thing. I think I've picked up everything. There we go. Let's skedaddle. I'm just going to drop this broken machete here as well. No need to bring garbage back to the base. And we didn't get another blueprint. I just realized that. No new blueprints. I wasn't even expecting a purple blueprint and I still didn't get it. Purple mod here we come. Well, <laughs> that wasn't a purple mod. I finally finished the motorbike. Thanks, Psych, for the tip. Says friendless. Very nice. Congrats on your motorbike. Very cool. Now make sure to do the rest up event. Rest up events are always epic. All right, let's get back home. And let's get ready for the raid number four. Wow.
because you didn't run properly in a circle. Yes, that's why I didn't get the purple mod, of course. Well, at least there's an arena tomorrow. Wait, there is an arena event? What? Wait, I want to check it. Do we really have the arena event? Yes, we are actually getting this arena event. Wow. Well, well. So expect once again, a few purple crate openings. Just as always, pretty epic. I like the arena event, my favorite event in the game. Ruby. Epic name. But guess what? You ain't no Ruby. Don't lie to me. There you go. Let's drop them there. Let's quickly... Wait, before we sort out the inventory, let's talk to the raiders. Let's see what other tasks we gotta do. If we gotta recycle three guns, we will do that. We need to make a deal with the dealer. Which we will probably do. Shotgun. Uh, this thing goes there. Healing items. Things, things and stuff. Duct tape. Copper and gasoline, and that's it, guys. We have sorted out the inventory. Plus red ticket, but it's gonna be on our way. All right, now let's check the radio. Let's see what the healer wants us to do. The dealer. Uh, stone bricks, iron bars, and common planks. Stone bricks, iron bars, common planks. Stone bricks, planks. Stone bricks, planks. Stone bricks, planks. Iron bars, actually. Uh, stone, iron, and planks. There we go. Let's get that. Let's give all of that to the dealer. Let's up in our pumpkin. And I'm stinking! How will I meet the dealer while I'm stinking? Hmm? How will we do this? What kind of an impression he'll get from seeing me stink? He'll smell me. He can probably smell me from a mile away now. That's fine. I don't think dealer smells any better. All right, so let's go. Let's meet him. Oops. I also just hit a tree. The dealer is definitely impressed. Good evening, schmuck. Take the loot. And guys, let's play a game. Guess. And win absolutely nothing. That's the name of the game. And the rules are pretty simple. Guess what we can get inside of this weapon box. And the winners, the winners will get absolutely nothing. So if you want to get nothing, guess it. Let's go. I'll even participate in this game as well. Alright, let's go back home. Alright, I see some of you have already started guessing. I'm gonna guess probably myself and say that... I always say pipe. So maybe one day it'll actually be pipe. And is this an M16? M16, we have, it uh, looks like one person. Fountain Lion. Congratulations on guessing that it's an M16. Congrats on winning absolutely nothing. Congrats. Congrats for being here. And congrats for winning absolutely nothing. Very cool. It's a weapon. Glock, Glock, M16. Guys, it's too late. That's it. The game is over. All 
Alright, let's take a quick shower. Actually, I'll take only two bottles so that I can just delete that plastic. You know, we're all about that environmentally friendly attitude. Dumps those plastic bottles in the ocean. Now, guys, I'll just... I don't know how we dispose of those plastic bottles. We just delete them. There we go. Boop. No more plastic. No more plastic. I don't know what we do with it, but no more plastic. Alright, let's drop that here. The rest of these resources, let's drop them back in the base. Should have just left those resources for that poor schmuck. Didn't have to take them back with us, but whatever. They perish into nothing, probably that's what happens. Uh, let's recycle three weapons, let's get a C4 from the inbox, and then let's roll for the fourth raid, and then let's go to Sector 7. Sector 7, here I come. Kind of a bit excited for another tournament. I don't know if Sector 7 is excited for me though, but I am excited for the Sector 7. How to get factory parts, says Abhe. Well, by recycling weapons or participating in some events, sometimes you can get copper part uh, the factory parts. There's sometimes laboratory event, and you can get those parts by clearing the laboratory. Or from bunker... Wait, do you get factory parts in the bunker Bravo? I don't know, I think you just get carbon composites. So it is kind of tough-ish to get factory parts. There, There is no factory part factory. There go three guns recycled. Let's get a C4. And let's go. Raid number four. There we go. Now we can complete that. Feed yourself. Yes. I always think about my dogs here in the game. We always and constantly feed these dogs. But I don't even have the time to eat myself. To feed myself. There we go. Finally eaten, ladies and gentlemen. I am no longer starving. The meteor place is so amazing, so you call it the meteor place. So the crater is basically the meteor place. Okay. I'll pretend I did not read that. Meteor place. So you guys, we'll go to the meteor place very soon. The meteor location. Let's get a few more hatchets. These here, we got the C4. Let's get the two blocks, some food, and let's roll. The meteor place. Psych, where are you going? To the meteor place. Well, not yet. We're going for the raid. Hopefully, this raid will be at least decent. Hopefully. The meteor place. Wait, why am I here? I came here to upgrade these weapons. To put mods on them. Raid with a shotgun, please. It makes noise unless you'll put a silencer on it. But I don't even think there's a silencer for the shotgun. It only half silences the weapon. It doesn't silence it fully. So there we go. The weapons are modified. The loot is here. The food is in the belly. That's it. Time to go. Player, another player base today. We haven't gotten a single non-player base. All of them are just player, player, player. LDE player 8968. Let's see. Oh, another great raid, ladies and gentlemen. Another mind-blowing raid. These mind-blowing raids are amazing. That's all I can say about them.
Long silencer mod for the shotgun. Yes, as I said, there is the mod, but it doesn't silence the weapon fully. We don't even need a C4 for this raid. Wow! Wow, look at this base! Look at this awesome raid, ladies and gentlemen. Our fourth raid of the day. Let's drop that C4 here in the chopper. Oh my God. 200 MGLs, 400 yeah. grenades, one berry tea. Good luck. Thanks, Colbert, for being a member for, for, for 15 months. Couldn't even say it properly. Thanks for being here for 15 months, mate. Thanks for everything. Thank you, thank you. And yes, indeed. By my calculations, we should be able to get 200 MGLs here inside of this box. And uh, let's get them. But maybe we'll get here one berry tea. We got, there we go, our 200 MGLs. And uh, here we're gonna get the 400 grenades and one berry tea. There we go. If we don't get the berry tea, I'll just get that berry bush. Look at all of those grenades. Thank you. Let's get the berry tea. And I think that's it. That's the raid, ladies and gentlemen. That is the raid. Hell yeah. Always dreamed of a base like this. So yeah, this base definitely doesn't get my approval. Which, I mean, we've gotten- we've had worse bases. I didn't even have to kill here a single zombie. We've just gotten three guns plus a... A steel plate and some berries. So I don't know. Destroy a stable. Nah, I'm not gonna summon the, the waves of zombies here for this kind of raid. So I don't know. This raid doesn't get Sykes approval, but I think we've raided worse bases. I don't think this base should exist because it's it's not fun to raid. If base is only like two, three chests, I don't think they're fun to raid no matter what loot they have. Well, if it had like maybe 10 guns, uh, hundreds of first aid kits, it would have been better, but yeah. I think this base has no right to exist. That's it. This base has no reason to be here. Let's drop these things and let's sort out our inventory and let's go to the favorite place in the game. The crater. As you can see, I'm very excited to go to the crater. Super excited. Woke up today and I wanted to go to the crater. So here I am. You can't see me, but here I am. Beastmaster 64. If you know, you know. Alright, let's drop it here. And that's it. We just need to pay the raiders with the sticks. And then we can go to the meteor place. Sorry, guys. Not the crater, but the meteor place. Go make the berry tea. I don't think I have the berry tea maker. I'll make it off camera. I promise. I'll totally make that berry tea. Totally. I'll wake up at 3 a.m. Drenched in cold sweat. And I'll craft that. Uh, berry tea. Cover your eyes, everyone. Protect it at all costs. Yes, indeed. There we go. We're gonna give them three spears. Let's call them on the radio. Let's go to the meteor place. All right, let's get that from here. Yeah, we can just leave this place. We don't even have to hop on the chopper. That's it, guys. We're just gonna go now to sector seven. Let's go. When you're going to the crater, hour later maybe? No, we're going to the crater right now. We are going to the crater right now. Look at this gun that we have here. We have more weapons in the chest. And now I'm ready to participate in the tournament. I'm ready to lose the rest of the few weapons that I got. I am ready. Never been readier in my life. And a daily free gift. Oh boy! What will I get this time? Uh, raw hides. Nice. Sector 7 is top secret. Says Bulgaria Gaming. Well, I wish it was top secret. But it's far from top secret.
Let's say we got this gun. Let's perhaps get another weapon if we can. This thing is gonna lock in about an hour, which... We're not gonna go there anyways, even if we could go there. I don't think I have the right gear. I mean, unless I'm gonna equip this and I'll get the shield and I'll die from teammates teaming up. Perhaps I could get the shoddy here. Well, I still have these weapons. Let's waste them. And yeah. Wait, maybe I have some food in one of these chests. That would be cool. We got beans, but beans are kind of bad. We got these things. And some more steaks. Wow, I don't even have to go and buy anything. Cool. Very cool. What I should do is perhaps... Get some water. I want to pee myself here. There we go. Let's pee ourselves. Let's take a shower. And let's start it. I should actually do all of those things while I'm waiting for the tournament. Oh my goodness, gotta get more bottles of water. Let's get some more water, ladies and gentlemen. And... Where is the water? There we go, we got an entire stack of water. I knew that we have more water, I saw it. There we go, let's take a shower. So I just build the economy in the meteor place. I'm not gonna build here any economy in this meteor place. It's not really something that we do. My eyes, they're burning. <laughs> Says the A. Guys! Say hello to the crater. My new favorite location. I love the crater. <laughs> I love the crater. For real. Um, we got to pick up garbage and then, yeah, let's deal with some of these zombies. Then let's some pick up the garbage and let's start this event. This, oh no, the oozer, the schmuck, the oozer still can participate in it. Do we deal with the oozer? I don't want to waste my weapons on him, but I don't want to leave this place either. So I'll deal with the schmuck. There we go. We've been invited to the tournament. Let's accept it. And selection of participants in about five. Approximate wait time, five minutes and 36 seconds. Guys, if you play in Sector 7 and if you have the golden thing here, join right now. The loser is the oozer, says Bulgaria Gaming. Yes, indeed. Couldn't have said better myself, guys. So yeah, if you play Sector 7 and you have the golden tournament, join right now. Because it looks like we gotta wait for five minutes. Also, another thing that sucks about these tournaments is that... Well, first of all, they're just bad. And second of all, these golden tournaments are bad. I'd rather do br bronze tournaments, silver tournaments, than gold tournaments. They're just bad. That's it. Selection of participants. Well, we'll it'll probably take a while for it to start. So let's get to the base. Let's wait. I need acid to wash my eyes. <laughs> well, well, guys, stop it. Crater isn't that bad. It's okay. It is. It's not okay. <laughs> Crater is not okay. <laughs> I'd rather get hit with the baseball bat over the head than play in the crater. But yet, here I am playing the crater. Sadly, I don't have the gold tournament. Yes. Golden tournaments, you have to wait for minutes, I believe. Well, while we are waiting for them, we might as well just search for loot. Look at these. They're selling these dog tags. Is 714 a lot? I don't know. For one tag, I think it's a lot. Leather, dirty water, more leather, more guns that are insanely expensive, some more bricks, 
food. And another shoddy that is kind of expensive. We can't even get good melee weapons. We don't even have good blueprints here. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Everything's crazy. Let's go to another trading district. I'll wait for one hour, says gaming. Wow. Hopefully I don't have to wait for one hour. Oh, wow. Look at this place. All the people are here. The selection of participants in progress. Four! There were five people! Now there are only four! Somebody left! Some steaks. 2k for a stack of steaks. Is that expensive? Is that expensive? Guys. Is that a lot? Yes, sorry. That's expensive. A uh, stack for 900. There we go. That's better. That is a lot better. Another weapon. Uh, bandages, some iron, more healing items. Yes, that's maximum price. 2k for stack of steaks. Wow. Wow. This guy's selling food. Ooh, another steak. Don't mind if I do. Got kind of scared. Wait, is that the tournament? No, that's not the tournament. They've just done here some sort of thing to attract more visitors. Okay. Another stack of those. Whatever. I don't know why I'm buying so many... So much food. But why not? Okay, five participants. We need more participants. For the golden tournament. That's why I don't like golden tournament. Maybe I need to lose on purpose in that golden tournament. To not participate in it. Empty bottles. And those things here. How many people do we have? Five people. Still not enough. Still not enough. Just let us fight with five people. It's okay. Suspect roll. Thanks for the super chat. In my opinion, Crater is a little poop. No hate, please. Nobody hates you and everybody agrees with you. I agree with you that Crater is poop. Crater is pretty lame. I'm still surprised that there are people playing in this Crater. I mean, look at the amount of players that are here. It is kind of insane. Tournament has started with, uh, with six people. We gotta go home. So guys, the tournament has started. The tournament is here. Let's go for it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Every second is precious. There are six people in the tournament. Six. I'll quickly drop some stakes here. And I think I'm ready to roll. Uh, let's go here, here. There we go, we all already lucky. This bloater. Alright, we got one guy. We are already on the first spot. Let's go, ladies and gents. We need to survive for 18 more minutes. Okay, doesn't seem like there is anything here. All right, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. A 
Okay, we got an oozer. Not really my favorite. I mean, golden oozers are the best. But basic oozers aren't. And there's another golden zombie up there. Let's get it and then we can leave the zone and then we can go to another one. Except maybe I can get a crossbow here real quick. I can get a crossbow perhaps. I can get this gun. There we go, we got some crit damage. There we go, I don't think we'll get a third zombie here. So I might as well just leave this area. We've already gotten two golden oozers. We are 512 points. We are in the crater. Insane, am I right? Let's go probably to the bauxite quarry. Doesn't matter. We can keep switching between the red forest and bauxite quarry. All right. Look at this! Both of them in the same spot! If that ain't luck, I don't know what is luck. I'll deal with this guy real quick just so that I have more space to run around here. And perhaps even with this guy, didn't really mean to get him, but whatever. Let's get him. Let's heal up. Oh, wow. All of them are going to chase us now at the same time. Alright, let's get it. Alright, let's heal with both of those things. Alright, let's heal up with both of those things again. The weapon's gonna break. Oh my goodness, I might die here right now. If I ain't careful enough. I'm just trying to look at my health here and survive long enough. Oh my goodness, again, both of them. Oh my goodness. Got him. That was tough. That was pretty tough. And very sad. We also, we lost lots of stuff here. Um, let's get another weapon, probably. Because whatever we got here, that ain't enough. Let's get this gun. Uh, let's get more stakes. And I think I'm ready. I am ready to go back to the red forest. Are you only live on YouTube? Yes, I only stream here on YouTube. Uh, all right, other people are participating in the tournament as well. Let's try to go to the top. Hopefully they won't notice me. Even if they notice us, it's fine. We can outrun them because they'll just run back to this box. But still. Alright, a golden zombie. Please, please, please. Just one tiny golden zombie. That's all I'm asking for. All right, I'll perhaps maybe deal with this guy just to... Just so that it's easier and faster to pass. Could have probably sneaked behind them, but it's fine. All right, looks like this place had zero... Oh, there is a golden zombie. There is one. There is one schmuck. Let's get it.
Oh, that's a golden oozer. Okay. Definitely not bad. Not too shabby. 300 more points. There we go. Except do I really want to get the first spot? I kind of don't want to go back in this golden tournament. I'd rather participate in the silver or bronze one. As there are less people in... Yeah. So I don't even know if I want to get the first spot, to be honest. But hey, we'll see how it works out. Getting a second spot on purpose. Hmm? Well, I think there's nothing. That guy might see me. Or maybe no, that's it. We've done basically an entire loop here. Maybe there was somebody in the middle, but... Let's leave this place. What does this gun look like? The legendary Winchester, says BJ. I have no idea. <laughs> maybe it's the cousin, the long lost cousin of the Winchester. So yeah, I don't know. I kind of want to get another golden tournament, but at the same time... I mean, I want to get the first spot, but I don't want to get another golden tournament because the rewards are bad and it takes way longer to find a group here. There we go. Alright, we have a decent amount of golden zombies here. Alright, got another dude. Now we have another golden zombie there. Yikes. Three golden zombies even. Alright, so I'm kind of very lucky here. Oh my goodness, maybe not that lucky as I thought. Attack this Ashy Bloater! God damn it! Alright, let's get this weapon, let's heal up, and let's deal with the third golden zombie in this area. Can I sneak attack it? No, I don't think I'll be able to sneak attack it because other zombies will see me and you won't be able to run away from them. But I can use my crossbow. On this Ashy Spitter, I can get this gun. Deal with this guy. And I know that we are wasting weapons here, but I don't really play in the crater. So it kind of doesn't matter, does it? Alright, let's start healing up. Let's get this gun. That's it, we got another zombie, so now we are at 2300 points. The guy has 1000 points. All of them have a similar amount of points. Yikes, but hey, let's try to probably get the first spot. We're just gonna keep going. We'll, we'll get the first spot. All right, let's go to another red. Do we need to go to the red zone? Actually, box side quarries seem to be better than red zones. Maybe they're all the same. Maybe. Okay, nothing there. Okay, I see a golden zombie. It is gonna be a bit tricky to get to it, so whatever. Let's just deal with this schmuck with the ashy bloater. Golden loser, perhaps? Yes, indeed. That's a golden loser. Got him. I'll probably need to get back to the base and get another stack of stakes. It'll be better to heal that way.
They're all fighting. They're not giving up. They all have 1,000 points. Oh, that guy didn't see me for some reason. I asked you, bloater. Okay. Okay, there we go. Let's go. There we go. Another golden zombie, perhaps. Another golden oozer, or that's just a basic one. Another golden oozer. And I can't do much to it besides perhaps get a crossbow shot with it. And let's get this weapon. See, so for those who don't know, here inside of the crater, you can uh, do crit damage. You can do sneak damage with a crossbow. That's why I sometimes shoot with a crossbow. What's your dinner tonight, Psych? Pasta, fish, chicken, rice? Says BJ, I have no idea yet. Haven't decided for anything. All right, let's eat some berries to restore our health. Let's get another stack of those steaks that we bought. There we go. We still have enough armor. Oh, wow. The guy's at 1,600 points. We cannot give up right now. Let's keep going. Because I think we have, like, what? Seven minutes left? In those seven minutes, they can probably overtake me. There's the golden oozer, so time to... Maybe not a golden oozer, I have no idea what that is. Maybe that's just a big bloater, maybe a small zombie, I don't know. No, it's not a golden oozer there. Okay, gotta be careful when I sneak through these things. Got him. Let's heal up now. I won't be able to sneak attack this schmuck. Well, I can do a crossbow shot. Then I missed it! The dude saw me. Oh my goodness. I want to go to the toilet. You gotta be kidding, man. Just pee, guys. You saw it yourself. How do I pee? Because of the canned soup? Canned soup makes you pee? Probably does. But at least we got in one golden zombie there. So it wasn't a trip wasted golden loser let's find some more of those golden losers such low DPS yeah the weapon isn't the best I mean it's one of the more expensive weapons you can get in the crater but it ain't that good let's go back to the bauxite quarry Right, we got five minutes left, and uh, we're still about thousand uh, points above them. Pretty cool. More than that, even. Didn't really mean to deal with this ashy bloater, but it'll be easier. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Will I die here? So many questions and yet no answers. I know this thing will make me stand up. Look at this. That's what I said. Gotta be careful. I see a golden zombie there. Didn't want to shoot too much because I would have aggroed another zombie. But we got another golden dude here. Let's heal up again. So what if I get my melee weapon? I get this guy. Then I get this and I deal with the ashy loader. Genius. That's all I can say. Genius. Three more minutes and we keep getting more points. 
So another first spot, another golden tournament. As I said, not really too excited with those golden tournaments. The loot in these golden tournaments is not worth it at all. No more armor. Uh, yeah, we don't have a lot of armor, but I think it's still gonna last for about three minutes until this tournament ends. So that should be... Enough. Okay, we just sneaked basically in front of him. And the dude didn't see anything. Okay. And there's a zombie here, and I think we should be able to do a sneak attack with a melee weapon. Yes, yeah, that worked. There we go, 320 points. And I don't kind of think they're going to overtake us. We, we, yeah, we probably did it. We did it. Let's get back to the crater then. How long will it take to get all the spark plugs for the zombie truck? How many spark plugs do we need? 10 spark plugs? Well, at least 10 runs in the highway. Oh, somebody bought this thing. Epic. Epic. I can perhaps use one of those bandages. Real quick. So we got two more minutes. Do I wait? Or do we go there again? The guy has... He doesn't stop. Whatever. I ain't stopping either then. We got two more minutes. The guy keeps going. So I'll go as well. You just visited my clan during a sale at Wolf Forest. Yes, I remember that. There were lots of people there. Uh, James Williams, welcome to the stream. Very epic clan you have there. Look at this. This dude doesn't stop. 3k points. He keeps going. He's like, I'll get him. Yeah, good luck with that schmuck. Doing good and nothing. More points. 4k points! You're getting nothing. Unless he gets like 10 golden losers now. He doesn't probably need 10 of them. Fifty seconds. The guy stopped probably. I should probably stop as well. Let's go through here, through here, and there we go. There's another golden zombie. I'll, I might as well just get some more points to show them who's the boss, right? Let's go. Let's waste this weapon on the tournament. And let's get nothing in return. He's gonna make a video today if he beats you, Cyric. Probably. So there we go, guys. We got a five five more seconds and then we'll open it up. We'll open up the crate. That's it, we did it. You took the first place. Let's take everything. Those were the participants. And yeah, the rewards are not worth it. The coupons are all right, but you can't really do much with these coupons. And the crates that you get here are not great either. So let's try to open up these crates. The stalker's equipment. So let's see what we're going to get. We've gotten 15 of those bandages. We've gotten six uh, antibiotics. And... Uh, okay, we've gotten this nice weapon. You might be like, oh my god, sorry, it's worth it. This gun was okay. It's It's a good weapon. But you don't always get it. You get it like once every maybe, I don't know, maybe every 20 crates. It's it's very rare to get it. So I got super lucky that I've gotten it. And even with that weapon, the tournament is still probably not very worth it. But yeah, there's that, guys. That was the crater. So what do I think about the crater? It's, it's all right. It's a nice place to come here once every six months, every three months to participate in a tournament. I think it's kind of fun. But I wish the loot was better in the tournament because we are little by little losing our items. So soon enough, I won't have enough gear to even participate in those tournaments. But hey, there's that. So without any further ado, let's wrap it up, guys. We're going to be wrapping up this live stream. Thanks, everybody, for joining here. Hopefully you had an amazing Monday. 
And yeah, see you next time with another video, another live stream. No more tournaments. Yes, this one tournament was probably enough. This one tournament was enough. And Ladybug, thanks for the super chat. Uh, Syrek, I watched so many of your video streams while working that sometimes I forget when I'm watching live and uh, can't comment in the chat. Hashtag old people. Not old people. It is fine. Ladybug, thanks for the super chat. Thanks for watching those live stream, uh, the, the live streams and the videos. That's what matters the most. Thanks for being here. Thanks for everything. And Amari Sana says, grounded video. Tomorrow, guys, we have... Uh, whatever that's called, I forgot. Resident Evil 2 Remake. Kyrek, I watch so many of your videos, streams while working that sometimes I forget when I'm watching live and can comment in the chat. Hashtag old people lol. Say, so, uh, Ladybug, thanks once again for everything. Thank you for being here. Thanks for everything. And yeah, continuing the topic about Grounded. Tomorrow we have Resident Evil 2 Remake, Claire's story. And after that, there will be another Grounded video. So after, after, tomorrow, probably. There will be that. We're going to continue with the Resident Evil 2 remake. We've already beaten Leon's part, right? Leon's story. So now we'll focus on Claire's story. So I'm excited about that. Oh my god! Wow! Oh my Ladybug, god. thanks for being a member for 24 months. That's like literally two years. Woohoo! Thanks, Ladybug. Thanks for everything. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for everything. 24 months. That is insane. So guys, I'll probably be wrapping it up right now. Except, wait, uh, just as always, at the end of the live stream, we can do one speed cube, perhaps, for the memes, right? Speed cube timer. No matter what kind of time we get, bad or good time, we can still probably register it. No warm up. Just literally as raw as it gets. Like this is the first time I'm holding a cube today. I'll, maybe I've solved it once today. Uh, but yeah, let's say that we have no warm-up. There we go. For those who don't know, we usually the my average is about 50 seconds. So I'll be happy with 45 seconds. My best was 28 seconds. There we go. More random spins. There we go. I think that's enough. <laughs> There we go, I'm ready for it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm ready for it. Three, two, one. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Bing. This. This. Got it. Got it. Well, there we go. Now we got it. 41 seconds. 41.8. Pretty decent. With no warm-up, I think it's a decent time to get here. 41 second. Very epic. Very epic. So, guys, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for everything. Have an amazing rest of your Monday, a.k.a. A mini Micro Nano Friday. Uh, so let's go. Oops, wrong thing to, to 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 remove. So yeah, take care, guys. Thanks for everything once again. Shout out to all of you. You're all the best. Uh, tomorrow, make sure to check out the Resident Evil 2 remake playthrough. That'll be the first part. I don't know how many parts there will be. Maybe four. Then we'll be that thing fully. As that story isn't that super long, so it'll take about like maybe three, four parts. And uh, yeah, and there's also more grounded coming soon. So there's that. Take care, guys. Shout out to all of you. You're all the best. And see you later, everybody. Thanks for everything and shout out. Shout out to all of you guys. Take care. Take care, take care.